As of Sunday night, the Uganda Virus Research Institute in Tebe had carried out 1,192 tests, with 33 turning out to be positive. When members of Parliament's Health Committee visited the Institute, they were told that only 20,000 kits are currently available. Dr. Julius Rutwama, a virologist at the Institute, says only those with exhibiting signs and symptoms of COVID-19 should be tested to avoid wasting the few kits they have. So we are insisting that only those people who are meeting the case definition are the ones from whom samples should be picked. All else, a time is going to come when we don't have the kits, when we don't have the supplies, especially that there is a lockup of uh, the country, not so many things are coming in, and we wouldn't like to be in that kind of situation. However, a request has been made to government to procure kits worth one billion shillings to supplement those from donors. Initially when we approached finance, they said no, approach Minister of Health, because the Minister of Health uh, is, uh, yeah, is a said do go work through the Minister of Health. But I think we're also saying they're sympathetic. We shall see how Minister of Health goes. If things become tough, we shall go back and knock on Minister of Finance. Yeah. Commenting on those in institutional quarantine, Kalebu says most of them will have to stay beyond the mandatory 14 days, having mixed with others during their stay. Even those who are about to leave 14 days, the clock is going to be reset to start another 14 days. Because the people they are with, some of them, could be... So we are telling the minister now to reset the clock so that they start zero again. Alia, the MPs visited Entebbe Grade B Hospital, where some of the COVID-19 patients are being treated. Hubbard Ziwa, NTV.